welcome to my channel, V Swain's Shoebox Sundays. My name is Val. Today I am bringing you a unboxing, a box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child. It's a very special unboxing because this is part of a collaboration, a collaboration with my friend Denise. Her channel is D Rogers. We were chatting and she was pondering what boxes she still wanted to show us in the last few days before we deliver our boxes to the collection sites. And I told her I was getting ready to record and upload a Christmas box. And I asked her if she had any Christmas themed boxes left to show. And she said she didn't think that she did, but she asked me if I had a penguin box. And I didn't have a penguin themed box packed, but I had lots of penguin items in my stash and I was, you know, saving that theme for next year. But because I had all of it, I excitedly said, yes, I would love to do a penguin collaboration with you. And so we did. And collaborations are very exciting because we don't know what items each other packed. We don't know for what age range. We don't know for what gender. And that's the exciting part is finding out if you ended up packing anything the same or similar or if everything is completely different. And so here we go. Here I am with my penguin themed shoebox that I packed. And I packed mine for a girl in the age range of five to nine. When she opens up her box, she is going to see that I put a the top of a Christmas card on the lid of the box. It's penguins, it says Merry Wishes, and I added the phrase, you are so very loved. So this is what she'll see on the top of her box. She has a few penguins there smiling up at her when she opens her box. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this, this is a penguin plush that I actually made. I crocheted this, it's a Woobles. So she has this little penguin plush that I made. It's blue and white and I think it's real cute. I don't, I don't know, does that look like a penguin? It's supposed to be a penguin. It's nice and soft and cushy. So she has the penguin plush there and then she has a Thai penguin plush. This penguin plushes name is a zero it's kind of funny because the box is something about zero yeah right here the shoe box said move to zero and then she has some penguin socks very cute socks and the penguins holding the candy cane she has a tote bag that is a penguin it's just one of those tote bags that folds up nicely into itself a headband on which I attached a big pink bow. She has a nice washcloth. This came with a wet brand comb as part of a set. And so it's a nice good size plushy soft washcloth. She has this organza bag that's filled with some fun things. Hair scrunchie, kind of mauve in color with some fringe. That goes nice with the colors in her shirt that I've packed for her. She has a pair of underwear, just white and pink. She has this headband, which is yellow, and it has a bow attached to it. The bow came that way. She has some really pretty earrings. I gave her three pair. These hair clips, which are real pretty. I got these at CVS. They're De, De Bello brand. Um, I love the jewelry and hair accessories they have for 99 cents at CVS. This one has a hair bread that has a star with some pearly beads on there. And then she has a, like a bobby pin that has a metal heart, gold heart on it and then another bobby pin with some more pearly white beads. And then I just tucked in a couple of sparkly hair clips. She has two friendship bracelet 
making kits. She has this bracelet that says love on it. It's pink, got pink beads and then round beads and then it's got the letter beads that spell love and the O in love is a heart. She has some hair ties. She has pink and brown. And she has another pair of underwear. I believe I put in one size eight and one size 10. And so pardon me while I go put my kitty cat in the house. I'm back. She has three bounce balls, three different colors, pink, green, and orange. She has a hygiene pack here with a bar of soap, two mending kits, a York peppermint patty flavored lip balm, a cap for her toothbrush, nail clipper, some nail files, and some band-aids. She has a card game, Crazy 8. I believe the reason why I included this particular set of Crazy 8 cards is because of the cute penguins that's on the number 10. Kid scissors. She has a toothbrush, which is pink and white, and I just left it. It's an Oral B brand, which is a really nice brand. A friend donated this to me. She got it from her dentist, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Patty. And I just left it in its packaging since it's just a single toothbrush. She has this pretty comb. She has a shirt. It's got penguins on it. And I got this from Walmart. It's Wonder Nation. It is a size 7, 8. It's got some pretty mauve colors on it. On the heart here and the stars. And then the scarves and the sweater on the penguins. So this is the front. And then this is the back of the shirt. I just love this shirt. And, um... Oh, I forgot to mention, I titled this box Penguins at Play, and that's definitely what the penguins are doing. They are playing. And then to go with her shirt, I packed this pair of leggings, which are kind of mauve in color to match the shirt. They're really cute on the bottom. They have this kind of lacy feature here on the bottom. And she has this really cute pair of sunglasses that I tucked inside this sunglasses carrier that's a penguin that I got at Dollar Tree. But the reason why I chose these sunglasses is because I thought they matched, I mean they got big round lenses like, like this penguin and this penguin has very noticeable eyelashes there and these have little eyelash eyelashes on the frame so i thought those were really cute and she has crayons she has this cute penguin figure which i believe is ryan's world i think it's the uh, lifeguard penguin and he's inside this life preserver and he came with i put him in this baggie because he came with this i i think this came with him it looks like a a rope and then a pair of binoculars. She has a set of building blocks from the bullseye spot at Target. So she has this really cute plush craft. I got this a couple years ago, I think at Michael's. So it's really cute. And there was a little bit of extra room in the box. So I tucked in some extra thing. So she has the kit. This is part of the kit and it comes with like the safety eyes and the tool to make the plush. And so what you do is you take, this is the piece and then these are the plushy pieces. And as you can see on the package, you just pluck these pieces inside. This is kind of a really firm, hard foam, piece of foam. And so it comes with, of course, the instructions. So she can make her own 
penguin plush, which I think is really, really cute. And it, it says ages five plus. So I think it's okay for this age group. And I had a little bit of extra room in here. So I tucked in a little, even a smaller tie uh, Beanie Boo, which is a penguin. I believe that came from McDonald's. She has this cute penguin eraser that has, you know, wings that move. <laughs> so that's a, a cute thing. And she has some lip balm, which is, so she has a second lip balm because she also has one in her hygiene pack, but this is a penguin. The flavor is winterberry. I'm not sure if it was Walmart or Walgreens after Christmas her pencil pack and in her pencil pack I have packed some penguin themed pencils really cute there's that one and then there's another another one a little different color but they have penguins on them a pen cute pen doesn't have a penguin on it but it's black white and red and it's got like animal prints on it I got that at Dollar General so she's got all the essentials. So that is her school pack. She has a doodle pad that has a penguin on it. She has this jumbo eraser from Dollar Tree. I got this a while back. This is a metal tin. And inside this metal tin, I have tucked in these two cute penguin erasers. I have tucked in some pencil sharpeners, dual sharpener, and I tucked in a cross necklace on a white cord. It's pink on a white cord. I tucked in some cute little penguin stickers and this little novelty stickers in this box. And I tucked in this cute little mini notepad. This is great because these little notepads have lined paper. I tucked in a regular school eraser, some pencil top erasers, another pencil sharpener, and this cute penguin eraser. So she's got a few cute penguin erasers. And I have the note to the child that I wrote to a special girl on the envelope. This is a card that I actually made. I had this in my stash of cards that I had made. And so this one has penguins on it. And inside, oops, I wrote the note. I included a family photo. And I also included a bunch of penguin stickers, skateboard stickers that I got. Uh, I think I ordered these from Amazon. There's just a bunch of different little ones. So she has a jump rope, a notebook. It's just a black notebook. I put some more penguin themed pencils in the spiral binding here. And I had packed this box before I got these stickers. And I, this is just a boring black notebook. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these stickers on the cover of this notebook, just for some fun. There, now I have a notebook that fits my theme. And she has a little golden book, How Do Penguins Play? And that is where I got my idea for the title of my box, Penguins at Play. And the cover has these cute penguins on it sliding down a snowy hill. So that's really cute. But the whole book isn't about penguins. And there on the inside cover is a penguin. And the first page says, penguins like playing king of the hill. Very cute. But then the rest of the pages are other animals at play. Crows play with sticks as they fly through the air. I won't go through all the animals, but it's just different animals and birds with a short little blurb on how they play. Maybe a little bit juvenile, like if this box goes to an eight or nine year old, perhaps this box will go to a five or six or seven year old. So, but 
if it does happen to go to an older child, I also have this. I got this recently at, let's see, Dollar Tree. Uh, I believe Dollar Tree. I got tigers and I got penguins and I think dinosaurs. It's a Discovery Get to Know book. Uh, it's a level one. And this one is penguins. So if this box does go to an older child, then this is a second little book with great photos and images and some descriptions and information about penguins. This reminds me of Happy Feet. <laughs> this just really reminds me of Happy Feet here. So she's got two books and she has this really cute bookmark that has penguins on it. It says on the back, these charming penguins on the Arctic ice will melt your heart as they mark your place. Cute bookmark for to go with her books. And then she has this cute, cute coloring book. Be merry and bright with the penguin right there up front and center on the cover. But there's lots of fun images inside this book. There, look at that penguin. Isn't that cute? And so that's it. That is my penguin box. That is my collaboration penguin box with Denise. Denise, I can't wait to see your box. Thank you so much for asking me to collaborate with you on this because this was a really fun box to pack. So what I'm going to do is for sure link to your unboxing video in my description and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to add the link, the thumbnail link to the end screen. I just recently learned how to do that and I have only linked to my own videos though so I'm going to try to link to yours and I hope that works out and so thanks for watching everybody. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe and then jump right over if you're watching mine first to watch Denise's video and so I may do one more unboxing before collection week. It's getting down to the wire, isn't it? So thanks for watching, friends. Bye now.